Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Teresa and I like to do cleaning, tidying, decluttering, and organization type videos. So in this video we are in the linen closet area of my master closet and I am going to edit everything that's in here, take out the things that aren't necessary, and go through the things that I do need in here but organize them in a way that works really well for me. And I hope that this will give you the inspiration and motivation to do the same for your space. Obviously there's a lot of stuff in here that we don't need but there are other things that we do and I want to make sure that they are put in in a way that we can thrive in our space. So I hope you enjoy this video. If so, and if you like videos like this, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and I'd really appreciate it if you would leave a big thumbs up for me. So let's get into this. I hope you enjoy what you see and I hope it gives you some great inspiration. Hey everyone, so this is my dirty little secret. This is the linen closet portion of my gigantic closet. And although the rest of my closet is very well organized, maybe for a couple of spots, it could use a little touch up. But this right here, this section is driving me insane. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this out, reorganize it. I might move some stuff out. I might move some stuff in but I, I really want it to function better for me and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. So, here we go. So, I'm gonna start out little trash bag that I'm gonna replace in here. Big trash bag for anything I wanna get rid of. And then this is for recycle. And all of this is recycle. So all of these right here are bath bombs that I have made that I no longer use. Bath bombs actually go bad, kind of bad. They don't fizz as much after maybe six months to a year. These are all maybe a year and a half old. So I am going to trash all of these because I don't need them. I can make new ones if I decide I want to. But right now, these are all gonna go. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of bath bombs. That's super heavy. Ooh, I need a new garbage bag. Okay, so here's my plan. This I would like to get rid of. So, and a lot of it is travel stuff. And I also have like some random things in here. So I just need to find a better way to sort these. These are gonna get donated. All of the soap here is gonna get donated, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out. And then I'm gonna rearrange this and probably fold these differently. And then I will go through and declutter any of this stuff here and declutter these as well. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I got my trash bag to do it, <laughs> so let's go. Oh, also gotta move these around a little bit too. A lot of these are my Norwex cleaning cloths that I use, so. I'll find a nice home for these. Although I don't mind having this hang up. We'll see. I'm probably gonna do something different with that as well. So here we go. All righty. Let's take out the things that we know we're gonna donate. Look at all that soap, so much soap. I was a travel agent and we would travel a lot. So um, we took soap from everywhere and it's all brand new. So I'm gonna see if I can donate it. I think Ronald McDonald House might take it. We'll see. So. Wish for this moment to never go away. Blankets. Woo! Blankets. Though I know that there is nothing to find. You're a beautiful sight. 
so all these light bulbs do not belong here. They need to go downstairs. So that's where I'm gonna put them. So these light bulbs here had a guarantee that they were gonna last 10 years. Maybe they lasted a year. So I might look into getting my money back for these. So I'm gonna put them back in this box. If not, I'll just trash them. This is the greatest scrubby thing ever. I highly recommend it. But I need to find a nice place for it. So for now, it's gonna go right here. Well, I continue to take out the workout equipment that I don't use because I go to the gym. I think it's gonna go out. I don't need it in here. At least I don't think I need it in here. Do I need it in here? No, I don't need it in here. All right. This is gonna go. Look, things have fallen. This is Norwex stuff. All right, let's take this out. Clothes that don't fit. I need to donate these. These will go in a donate pile. Alrighty. Okay. So now I'm gonna take down the towels and I'm going to edit out what I don't need. I do like having all white towels. So I'm gonna edit that down first. I do color my hair. So I have these towels that I use for when I'm coloring my hair. So I'll keep a couple of those, but everything else is gonna get edited down and I think the towels will end up going to the animal shelter or something like that. So let's edit some towels. Empty. Drives me insane. Empty. All right. So these are items that, woo, these are items that we've never used. These are gonna get donated. So let me explain these cell phones. And I don't even know why I keep them in this bathroom, but we just always have. But we have like lots of old cell phones, a couple of which have never even been used before. We use them as backups. So yeah, they're all gonna be kept. And since we've always kept them here, I'll probably just continue to keep them here. But I'll make them look a little bit neater. Also, cell phones, all cell phone stuff. 
I don't know. Like, it's old. Look, this one's totally broken. If anyone can else, if anyone can think of what else I can do with this, let me know. But for now, they're staying. Yes, yeah, so I found makeup supplies in here. My makeup stuff is out there, so I'll put this out there. It's empty. For some reason, I don't know if we're burning CDs in the bathroom, but we have all these. These are going to get donated. So these are items that actually are kind of important and they're supposed to go in the safe, but I don't think they fit in the safe. I don't think they fit in the safe. So I'm just gonna leave that all right there. It's not that it has to be locked up, it's just important. So that's why I keep it near my safe. So this right here belonged to my father-in-law and he passed away in 2006. My husband wants to keep it. I got the room for it. So I'm gonna put it up here where his shoes are since it's a shoe thing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go through the rest of these things before I bust into this drawer and sort them. So we're gonna sort like with like. This is clothing stuff. It hit here, I'm fine, so I'll just leave that there. All right. into these drawers. We're into these little drawers right here. Can you see my face? We're in here. So I'm gonna pull all this out and kind of get it sorted. These drawers are already sorted by, I have like a little bit of stuff in here, but most of it is like eye stuff, perfumes, which we don't usually use. They're already kind of divvied. They just need to be fixed up a little bit. So let's do that. Here. Make sure I don't have any empty boxes empty contact lens cases. <laughs> Are you in there? Oh, see, now look, I gotta tell you people. My husband, he keeps empty stuff all the time. Like, I don't, I don't understand, I don't understand this. This is why I'm always organizing and cleaning. All right, we're gonna go through it. guys know these are mine and they're in their boxes 
I have no empty ones. They're all in there. <laughs> Does anyone ever use lens cleaner? Like I never use lens cleaner. Very old glasses, but you always have to have the spare pair, right? All right, and this is already organized. It's like my sewing kit. So that'll go back in, get the glasses by it. These are colognes that we really don't use. They're his, not mine. A lot of this is travel stuff. And I'm actually going to get rid of a lot of the little things. Like that's like empty. Why do I have this? These are already binned. I just need to make sure that they're not expired. Band-aids don't expire. It's not your fault and you don't <laughs> And then these I know are old. But these are things. This is more like bath stuff. to move. I'm going to move a couple things. My recycling. Trash recycling. I have some stuff here on the floor that's out of camera view that I'm going to move back in and keep going. So I'm going to do that right now. Let me get the camera. So these items right here are going to get moved to a different place. This is exercise. It stays. So let me take this out because this goes away. All right, my head was out of shot. See these right here, right here? These upside down, right side up. These right here, if you're ever traveling, if you're on an airplane and it's a long flight, these are those tissue masks that you put on. I got these from Dollar Tree. These are amazing, especially this coconut rice milk one. Oh my God, you wake up refreshed. It feels good. It's not slimy. Love, love, love these. Have to keep these and probably buy more. So now I'm gonna put them away. And I have the perfect thing to put them in. I need to clean this out. Um, I used to sell bath bombs and stuff too. So I would use these things and I also have one over there that I used to use for display. And that red thing that I had was also a display. So I'm gonna wash this out really quick and use it to store stuff because why go buy more storage when you can just use what you already have? So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, much better. So I'm gonna put these in here. Put them up here. What are you? Let's see what this thing is. 
Oh, that's travel. Okay, so I'll put these up here. I know what I'm doing after this. Woohoo! Yes, okay. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and reload my uh, exercise stuff and bring my exercise ball in here. So I'm gonna move some of this stuff out. Of here. another um, first aid type thing so that'll go down here those come in there I have a little space left for the rest of my toilet paper when I get it so now I'm going to go ahead and load up my travel stuff if you guys ever get these from Grove they're awesome they gr they're great for travel too actually yeah Actually, I'm going to clean these bags out really fast. My travel stuff. Goo tubes. Very cool. I like goo, goo tubes. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. So I have them. I know I'm going to use them. Let's take these up. Okay, so now all I have left is a couple of my little cleaning things. I have all these little mop sock things, love. So I'm gonna put them in this little shoe box that I have down here. Get those in there. Put this up on top. Right here. And then put this little guy here in the corner. And I still have some of my Norwex. Actually, it's hanging there and it looks fine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add to it and hang these up as well. All right, so this was living in my uh, bedroom. I have a little bit more space for it here now, so I will throw it right here. Ta -da. Okay, there's one thing that's bothering me. I don't like this piece of paper right here. So I'm gonna turn this guy around. Hopefully. Yeah, that's the OCD in me. All right, that is it. That is it. I will show you my little close-up. Oh, and I'm going to, isn't this the cutest little vacuum cleaner? I have a Dyson that I love, but this was from Walmart, it was $20, it's this little Bissell, and they come in cute little different colors, so I'm gonna do a quick vacuum too. But yeah, that's it, and then I'll put this away. So. So um, this is what I've got left. That's where I put my recycling. And you can see where I've put my uh, ball and my vacuum cleaner, toilet paper is to the right. Cleaning is on that bottom shelf with the cell phones. And then I've got my toiletries on the middle shelf, my towels up there. And then on the very top shelf is my um, exercise gear. And then here's all of my Norwex. And yeah, that's it. It really, it didn't take that long and I feel so much better about it. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.
Bye.